how to repair a keyboard on any MacBook. In this video we'll cover three areas, how keyboards work, how to replace keys, and how to replace your specific keyboard. Here's an example of a keyboard and how it attaches to the logic board inside of the computer. Please note that there might be slight differences in between MacBooks, but overall this technology and concept is exactly the same across all MacBooks. Underneath the keyboard there's a backlight. This backlight consists of multiple layers. Here there is the actual black light which is the black piece. This black layer has six LED lights. These LED lights plug into the socket of the plastic layer and the plastic layer distributes the light across the entire layer. Those six LEDs plug in to the logic board through that cable. Then the keyboard goes over those six LEDs and is illuminated. This is what causes it to light up on some models. If we take a closer look at the back of the keyboard, here we can see all the screw holes. This is how the keyboard is attached inside of the MacBook. Yes, it is ridiculous. There are over 50 screws that attach this keyboard inside. If we look at the back again, we can see that there are a lot of wire traces that are inside the keyboard layer. When these traces short out, they will cause this. When a liquid spill connects multiple keyboard circuits, that's what happens. Or some of the keys just cease to function completely. Unfortunately, when this happens, the entire keyboard has to be replaced. Here's a look at what the keyboard looks like when it's properly installed into the MacBook. We can go ahead and take a pair of tweezers, pry it back. As you can see, we'll be prying back three layers. The first layer is the backlight lights. The next layer is the actual distribution layer. And then this black layer acts like a shadow mask. If your key is physically damaged or sticky, it can be replaced or cleaned. This can be done with an alcohol cotton swab and a set of tweezers. If you just pry into the key in the top left corner and just kind of push it up, it should pop right up. Here you can work the key out If you spilled a lot, then you might have to take out the scissor mechanism. This can also be removed. You have to be very gentle as you can break the scissor mechanism. Once both of those are removed, go ahead and take an alcohol cotton swab and go ahead and remove any of the spill that's on the key. Clean the key as well. Alcohol will be able to dry up and remove any of the liquid residue. Clean the scissor. Then you can go ahead and put the scissor back in as shown. Make sure and check with tweezers that the scissors is firmly inside and it's not moving around. Then you can take the actual cap and put it in on top of the scissor. It should click right in. Make sure to firmly press it and compare it to another button. The return, shift, and the space bar have an additional mechanism. If you take out the return key, you'll notice that it has a little uh, metal lever underneath. That lever plugs into the holes. 
go ahead and clean out the key with an alcohol cotton swab. Make sure to lift up the scissor and get the alcohol underneath so it can soak up whatever re spill residue that there is. After that, you can go ahead and clean the button as well. Now with the lever down, go ahead and insert one side into the hole and the other side into the hole and then lay down the key. Firmly press it in and it should click right in. Now let's go over how to replace your keyboard. Go to the Apple logo and go to About This Mac. Locate your MacBook size and year. We'll need this information for the next step. Go ahead and open up Safari. Navigate to AppleDollars.com. Once at AppleDollars.com, select MacBooks. Then select your screen size. And then select your MacBook year. Here you'll find an interactive video map. Locate the keyboard and watch the keyboard replacement video. Apple has made hundreds of different laptops and the models vary from year to year. So watching the specific video for your specific MacBook is essential. This concludes our tutorial on keyboards. Thank you for watching.